So our laboratory has been involved in undertaking uh, a lot of testing for patients with lung cancer as well as other types of tumours. And one of the things that we've been looking at is firstly what you can do with the tissue that comes in because in order to provide more testing and to do much larger panels you also need more DNA or more genetic material to be able to work with. So sometimes when we get samples or biopsies come in, they're very small and we don't manage to get very much DNA with them. And then we just have to choose, or rather the clinician has to choose, which of the possible alterations that may be present in that tumour is the most important and prioritise that. But when we get more tissue, we can run much wider panels and potentially find far more alterations that can be used in the patient's testing. So something that we've set up recently is a triage system whereby when the samples come in, we check them for the quality and quantity of DNA that we can extract from them. And then based on that, we assess which is most likely to be successful, whether we run single gene tests, whether we run a small panel, or whether we run our large panel that has just over 200 tests on it. And that allows us to try and make sure that every patient benefits from some testing, but as many patients as possible are able to get wider testing, and then compare the outcomes from that. So that's led us to look at a whole range of aspects of what makes a good quality as well as gives us a good quantity of DNA from a sample. So when we do more comprehensive testing, we are both looking for the alterations which we already know based on the research that has already been done are important for patients. But then when we're undertaking much wider profiles, we're looking at other alterations which may not have been widely tested before. And it's like everything else, the more testing you do, the more find things that you'll start to find in the tumour which may be important both for patients getting onto trials or for realising that there are actually other alterations that are recurrently mutated in some types of lung cancer that allow us to start developing new treatments for these patients. So it's really about both being able to provide what we currently know is beneficial in future horizon gazing and looking for other things that may be, may be uh, of importance to patients in the future.